guys, Wyatt56 here, how are you doing? We're back with another What If video after a few months of not doing any. Uh, I just haven't been really feeling like doing these lately, so I'm back to doing them. So here we go, we're going to be returning. Uh, our first What If in a while is going to be part 7 of the uh, tale of the love, love couple of Harry and Hermione falling in love. Um... It's been a while since we last uh, left off with this one, so I'll let you know where we last left off. So, let's begin. Where we last left off, Harry and Hermione had just uh, gotten out of the uh, lake from the second task, and all was well for the boy who lived and his girlfriend, until, if you recall, one day, outside of a potions class lesson before it was about to start, Harry had a... Uh, Come into path with his newest enemy, Ronald Weasley, and his friends of Slytherins, as well as his girlfriend, Pansy Parkinson. Harry and Ron had then had a duel, and it caused Hermione to run to the hospital with, with teeth larger than she'd ever seen before. And that is where we carry on today's part. So, without further ado, let's carry on with this romantic tale. So, a few days had now passed since Harry and Ron's duel outside the potions dungeons. They had done their detention, but they had not spoken to each other for one second during it. Harry despised Ron at this point. He couldn't believe what Ron had done. Not only had he gone to the dark side with those none-for-good slipperings, but he'd also basically Turn his back on him and Hermione. The curse he'd done to Hermione's mouth was the last straw in Harry's eyes. He never wanted to see Ron's face again. And Harry was convinced that one day, if Voldemort ever came back, which he wasn't sure if he was going to or not, he thought that Ron would join his cause and one day become a Death Eater himself. But Harry had other things on his mind. Anyway, on that day, he and his girlfriend Hermione were practicing spells, curses, countercurses, and jinxes for the third task of the Cry Wizard Tournament, you see. And they've been doing this for quite a few hours now. And I even said to her lover, Harry, I think we've done it. I think you've mastered every single spell. I don't think there's much more you can do, my love. She then gave her boyfriend a kiss on the lips, and Harry could tell they were done for the night. But there was something on his mind. Hermione could tell. Harry had been on edge lately, and she then basically asked her boyfriend, what is up? Harry didn't want to confess to begin with. He'd try to put this off for the longest of times, but Hermione just kept badgering and badgering him. Eventually, he confessed in a scared cry. I'm scared, Hermione, all right? I'm, I'm scared you're right that someone is actually out to get me in this tournament. And then he's burst into tears. Hermione, I think I'm going to die! He burst into tears, and Hermione didn't know what to do or say, but she simply just gave her lover a hug and let him rest on her shoulder, crying out his tears, until he eventually fell asleep on her shoulder. For a while, Hermione just let him lie there on her shoulder. He looked so peaceful at this point, and she just stroked his hair for a while, until she saw the clock on the wall in the common room, which said one o'clock in the morning. And so, she brought her lover up to the boy's dorm room, put him in his bed, and got him changed into his pyjamas. She then removed his glasses, and with a cloth, she cleaned his face, and placed a kiss on his lips. She then left, but before going to her own dorm room to sleep herself, she turned around and whispered to her lover, Good night, Harry, my dear. I love you with all my heart. And that is where we're going to be leaving things for right now. So, do you think Harry will be able to get through this stress of knowing that someone is out to get him? And will things carry on the same as they do originally in Goblet of Fire? Or will there be certain differences in this telling? I'm afraid you're going to have to wait till next time, guys, to find out what happens next. But until next time, feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. And I'm your host, Wise256. Signing off.